If you plan to see Suicide Squad, Warner Brother, Space Bar. I'm Nick Gregorio, welcome to The Bar and the Stars. Today we're talking the DCEU, but first, you know them, you love them. ETC's own Ricky Hayberg and Elliot Dewberry, thanks for joining me, fellas. Thank you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Glad to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the man I've been cursed to endure eternity with, he has my witch heart, it's Phil Larigo. Hi. Now I've been on all your shows. Cool. Yeah. My witch heart, my monkey's paw. What are we sipping on? That poor adaptation. Something DC and Warner know a lot about. Check the description for the recipe and drink along with us. You know how we do. Let's start with a round of quick shots, guys. Bang those down. I want to know, is the DC Extended Universe <coughs> in trouble? Let's just go down the line. Uh, this one might be in a bit of trouble. I, I have no idea. It's the, uh, if they've had two or three now, uh, kind Ooh. of lukewarm movies that critics didn't like. Fans seem to like bits and pieces of uh, all of them, but uh, I don't know. It feels like they're just going to see it through no matter what. They're just going to close their eyes and just keep trucking along. So. Okay, they're, they're determined. Yeah. I'll be more brief. Yes, yes, <laughs> they are in trouble. They are uh, so fucked, and it's not looking good, and I don't know how they dig themselves out of this hole, because holy shit, Suicide Squad is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Is that a okay. hot take? I'm yeah. getting a little warm over Ooh. here. I got lots more. Put that on the DVD box. Mm -hmm. Phil, what about you, what do you think? Uh, I say yes, despite the fact that this movie you uh, are, are christening garbage made a shitload of money. So all the reviews are bad. That's what they said. That's what the internet told us. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I, as a comic book fan, the DCEU is in. It's dead. It's already dead to me. I'm like buried. Goodbye. Forget about it. From a movie, I don't know, economic standpoint, it has a little bit of life. I, don't, I never trust movie accounting to begin with, but I would say with the opening, the largest opening in an August weekend. Maybe they're not as. It had a big opening, but the drop off was like just terrible. Sixty percent. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Suicide Squad. Good movie. Bad. No. <laughs> I can't it's say it's fucking terrible. Bad. <laughs> bad movie. I mean, what, what happened? What happened with that movie? I, I was in the same position as him. After the first time I saw it, I was personally offended by the movie, and can, uh, can, we, I was can like, we do a quick time out? You saw this twice. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh my God! And you're not wearing your Harley Quinn cosplay yet? Oh, no, it tastes like shit. Let me take another. No, yeah, definitely yeah. shit. Smell this. I had Can to I smell that again. Sure. Oh. The first time, did not like it. Was upset with it and had a lot of bad things to say about it. I went again and watched it. And having my dreams and my expectations completely crushed the first time around, I was able to see it in a new and. Uh, I guess better way because I was like, you know what? Okay, I can enjoy this part or this part, it, but overall, it's yes, it's a terrible movie, <laughs> but there's things in it that allow you to finish. Yeah. Okay. So it's like it's a blowjob. You're comparing it to a blowjob. You're gonna not. Lots of teeth. What, by right. like, are, are you fucking a dolphin hole? And you're like, oh, it's weird the first time you fuck a dolphin's hole. <laughs> yeah. But the Still second not. time, there's things I can figure out. And I how can to get up to this. Stockholm Syndrome. Okay, we already know, Elliot, you hated it, Phil. Um, it was a bot. Okay, Th these are my issues with it. Up front, there's a one to one ratio with how long everybody's intro is and how much you should care about them. Mm -hmm. So you start off and you're just like, hey, that job, bam, here's, oh, and then here's and each person. And as they get shorter and shorter, you go, oh, this is how much you're actually in mm -hmm. the movie. Oh, they didn't even give one to Slipknot. No, I was saying, no. you know what they did give Slipknot? That press conference or the, <laughs> with the Native American society. Like, we have an actor who's Native American in the picture. And yeah, that's, that's, uh, there was know. that, and well, then. <laughs> It just, it, the whole thing, like, um, the, the, everyone in the building's heard me bitch about this. The scene when Harley goes in the, oh, spoiler alert, sorry, we're the, three, they've two. They've all seen it. Yeah, 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 um, Harley this, enters an elevator. Harley enters an elevator. With For a, no reason. With a, with a strap on. No, she, when she goes in the elevator and she goes up and everyone's like, oh no, she beats up one pod person thing. The second pod person well, thing. Well, Navy and then, SEALs are no, having problems with these pod people, but Harley Quinn with a baseball bat, the woman's 100 pounds soaking wet, with a baseball bat takes him out with one shot. And, and she comes out and everyone's like, <gasps> and she's like, no problem. And that's, I'm like, I just wasted two minutes of my life. Like, well, the, my, my also mental- Also, they met her at the top of the elevator and 
you would assume that they walked up the stairs to get to where she it's was. It's a very slow elevator. The very wow. slow elevator. Yeah. Do you know how many drugs I've done? Do you know how many fucking weird videos I've seen on the internet? And you think watching a hot chick go up an elevator and beat two people up is worth putting in a movie? Yeah. It was. Uh, we we couldn't get more than five minutes of the Joker, but I'm glad we got a Harley Quinn riding an elevator right. alone. I, we, did we all make it to the end credit sequence? No, I fucking bolted. Oh, okay. You were <laughs> you were like away. one of our producers, oh, Cooper Hagedorn. He didn't even. He was like, I was gone. I was gone as yeah, soon. Yeah. No. I, I if I saw it last night and I only saw it so we could talk about it here. <laughs> I had no plans to actually see it because I'm Glowing like I'm pretty sure I hate kids. this. Um, uh, you, what did you call it in the text to me last night? He got a text and immediately text. He's like, "Fucking!" I said it's this generation's Mortal Kombat because it's literally just fan service. Like, oh, you've never seen these characters on screen before. Now you have. Cool. But I, would, I would argue that Mortal Kombat was better. This is this generation's I think you Mortal might be right. Kombat Annihilation. At least yeah. Mortal Kombat had a point, I guess. It, yeah. Things happened in that movie. Yeah. I don't. This bringing the Suicide Squad to fight that villain is like bringing a knife to a nuclear. And where is Batman? Like, where is the Flash? Yeah. Where is Wonder Woman? Where is the military? They were all. Why are we sending fifteen guys to take out a god? Batman was drinking wine and having sex and talking with Alfred about stuff. But you touched on t t the end scene. You're talking about the end scene. When... So now we have Bruce Wayne, who is Tony Stark, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what he's doing? And like um, Amanda Waller is our new Nick Fury. Is that what DC's doing? Is that the vibe we're getting I, from? I I guess I don't know. I, I I don't have an opinion of it. I think that they don't even know really what they're doing, or else there would be good movies. I mean, this that. is what they're that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to emulate Marvel. But I don't think they realize that they're even doing it as they do it. I, uh, I think they were like, "Hey, uh, Ben, can you do some of that uh, Mallrats Ben Affleck, you know, kind of?" He's like, "Oh, like Rob Gunn Jr. and um, in uh, what's a movie that's really uh, popular, in Iron Man." Yeah, Something. I guess. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but they basically they set it up for, for Justice League to be the good guy version of Suicide Squad. Like Amanda Waller's like, hey, I got this big job, Which and is I'm going to assemble these bad guys. And then Ben Affleck, totally in parallel, independent of her, is like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all these good guys to fight some stuff. Suicide over. Squad yeah. would be like if I was like, I'm getting Ricky, Elliot, and Phil, and we're going to go build a house. There's other people better suited for yeah. the job. I yeah. would do, that's just You fine. can drive in front of any hardware store to find <laughs> a truck full of people better at that it's than like, us. I'm going to find, some maniac, I'm gonna find right. some maniac billionaire to become president when there's a perfectly good person that already knows about politics. Wait, you're talking about the uh, Batman, Superman, Lex Luthor storyline? Yes. No. No. Or real life, Nick. Mm -hmm. Ronald Grump. Uh, okay, so does the, the DCEU have the right creative team in place? No. Is that the problem? Is the symptom like at the core? Yes. Zack Snyder. Yeah, no, he, uh, he's really good at making pretty pictures. Uh, he did Watchmen pretty good because he was working off of source material pretty much directly. Yeah. Uh, and then he and was people like, thought that let me that show you what I could do in Man of Steel. Yeah, being able to adapt a excellent, like groundbreaking comic book uh, pretty much panel for panel is a lot different than being able to actually structure a multi-picture world from an original idea. I would argue that Zack Snyder isn't even a good filmmaker. He just knows what cool stuff is. Yeah. He's the kid in high school, and I've, I've said this before, he's the kid in high school that draws really well, but he has to copy everything that he draws. And if he does yeah. something original, you're like, why does he have a vest, a sword, rocket boots, roller blades, and a mohawk? He's the Rob Liefeld of cool. filmmakers. Yes, he's the Rob Liefeld <laughs> of filmmakers. And I don't know what if, if he's got nude pictures of everyone at Warner Brothers, but like, it is like, if anyone's ever been in a bad relationship where you just hate the person you're with, or like they just keep fucking your life up, that's what it's like. Like Warner Brothers comes home and Zack Snyder's like, some days he may did, or other days he ruined a fucking franchise, you never mm -hmm. know. But they're just too scared or lazy or I think they're in too to deep. Do. They're in fucking... too deep now. They have so much money on the line and they can't like, they can't say that, they can't just say that like we screwed up. They're just gonna see it through and keep pumping money well, into well, it. Well, like and all, and all good executives, they can't admit their failures. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, it went according to plan. We fired half of our staff yeah. and we'll just keep making the same shitty movie. But Ben Affleck's gonna save it with his Batman picture. Yeah. I, I mean, I think he can. I think he's fully capable of making a great Batman movie. Um, I hope that in the process of making it, they give him as much free reign to do whatever the fuck he wants and don't try to connect it to anything else more than it needs to be because that's where the problem I think comes in is trying to build a world in half the time that Marvel was able to do it. Wouldn't it be crazy if it's just Argo, but he's part of the Argo team? That'd be like great. Batman. That'd be fine. And he's in, he's in the airport just fucking dudes up, and it's like three minutes long. You know what would have been a great way? Yeah. You know, like Goodwill hunting. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, 
right? Beats uh, Mini Driver. I, um, <laughs> people that that have, like that say Suicide Squad is a good movie, they need to go rewatch the Nolan Batman films. Yeah. And yes. just really, you know what? Even go back and watch the Schumacher stuff because at least that had like an entire story arc within the yeah, movie. Yeah, it had a three well, this, this is the next point I want to bring up. Will we see a reboot of the DCEU sooner rather than later? Is there? No, no, they're staying so? the course. I, I do also say that when, when Marvel released their roadmap on, between now and the apocalypse, and it was 700 movies yeah. all the way, because like they're like, hey, Infinity War 2. I'm like, we haven't, we're three, why do I even care about what's going to happen now if yeah. I know all everyone's going to be alive for Infinity War 2? Yeah. But that's what I feel like they're kind of, trying to keep pace with when saying like, um, we, we have a future, uh, look, we just greenlit uh, Man of Steel 2 and all this, to, despite the fact that the house is on fire right now, yeah, yeah. they're still saying we're gonna live here, get another, get a dog. Zach, it's <laughs> another one. It's such a blazing. Yeah, there's a Kenmore the being wheeled in, like bring it in, we're putting a new stove in. It's, uh, you, it's the worst way to do things and it's not gonna work out for them and everyone that I talk to for some reason when I say that I think Justice League might suck, they're like, whoa, 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 the trailer looks great, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yeah, but so what? So, I mean, wait, so I, Hollywood I, has the best sizzle cutters in the yeah. universe. They can make anything look good. You give them a sequence of 10 pictures and they're gonna give you something dramatic. Well, they haven't even shot the damn movie. Those scenes were shot specifically to have a sizzle reel for Comic-Con. Yeah. The movie's barely even been filmed. The, the problem is, is you have um, another movie with Zack Snyder. Sir, sure, Jeff Johns is involved, but you have a, a basically two Here. and a half hours of them having to cram yet again more bullshit into one movie, this time adding even more characters that they have to keep reintroducing. A little asterisk and, on the Jeff Johns. And, he was but, responsible for Green Lantern. Okay, Let's yeah. Keep that oh, in mind. great. And and I, okay. <laughs> he, the, he, problem, the, problem with Justice League, <laughs> the problem with Justice League is that not only are you introducing these new characters, because they will do that, uh, but you're also putting them up against a villain that no one has ever heard of, and then explaining mother boxes to the masses. Well, I think they handled, uh, who was the villain in Suicide Squad? I don't even know their fucking name. I don't CGI know the CGI Monster guys. Man. Then, yeah, it was I Enchantress know. I think the Scorpion Brothers. King. Yeah, and, no. Uh, 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 so, yeah, uh, they're gonna do fine introducing Steppenwolf. Oh, yeah. hold on a as second. long as he comes into that needle drop of magic carpet <laughs> ride, I'll be very happy. I say this, and I will say this for the last time. If I watch Bruce Wayne's parents die one more fucking time, I will come to your house, Hollywood, and I will fucking burn it down. I cannot, it's like how many times? It sounds like Phil has superhero fatigue. Is that, is that yeah, going to be that a factor? Is, the is it a problem? Is that going to happen? I, well, I, I, don't, I think it's not just superhero fatigue. I think it's blockbuster fatigue. If you look at the box office numbers from There's this like summer. There's like one blockbuster video left, so I don't even know if that's possible. The, the summer blockbuster, you know what I'm fucking saying. Uh, <laughs> if you look at the uh, box office numbers from all of the big surefire hits from this summer, it seems like we finally hit a point where people have seen enough bright colors and CGI shit that they're like, Ex eh, you know, I'm good. Except for anything Disney does, Marvel and Star Wars, which Star Wars was gigantic. Even uh, Civil War did incredibly well. Well, because people well. are invested in Marvel. Yeah, well, that's the thing is, I don't think people have superhero fatigue. They just have bad blockbuster fatigue. It's like no one's gonna go. The the last X Men wasn't good enough to make sure that you went and saw Apocalypse. Yeah. What makes me sad, and we and we were talking about it, that kind of open letter to Warner Brothers, and I love Warner Brothers. That's that's like my dream studio to they work for. They made Mad Max with. Fury Road. Yeah. A great movie. Yeah, it was great. Um, it, it, it seems like they, they got away from making good movies, though. And now they've, like, this summer was not great for them. This mm -hmm. The past two years haven't really been, except for Mad Max. Well, after Harry Potter stopped, they were like, well, so what do we do now? They're they like, bring back know. Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing that shit back. <laughs> Is Imagine if they doing fucked that, that up. Yeah. Imagine if they fucked I that up. I think there's a chance. Well, I mean, they're saying that Wonder Woman's not good. I think Gal Gadot is not a good actress, and if she's in a movie for yeah. a, uh, two I don't know if she hours, can carry a movie. I don't think she can carry a movie. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know who watched those scenes in Fast Five or whatever, and was like, "That woman right there is going to mm -hmm. be." I will say that Suicide Squad. If I was younger and if I if I was less experienced and seen saw less movies, I think it would be a fine action movie. Sure. If I was in high school, my mom, so stupid. I saw the movie with my mom, mm -hmm. and my mom was like, "That was a fun act. It was an action movie that." Held my attention. My mom Are you doesn't calling really... your mom an idiot. Yes. Um, no, mom. I'm sorry. Don't listen to him. Raw man. That's <laughs> fucking. Yeah, that's not. Don't. Um, but to her, <laughs> like, there was she a has... dig on Nick and a dig on Warner Brothers. Sorry. She has no skin in the game. She doesn't care about comic books because I was like, I mean, Harley Quinn's beating people up, but she was like, uh, Nick, they're fake people. Like it's not real. But you and I was like, so you reverted back to like the nine year old you, like, mom, do you not understand? Like Leonardo, like he's the leader of the turtles. Yeah, she's like, like yeah, I, I got real, turtles, I, I got care. real salty real quick. I was like, I know, I mean, like, yeah, it does. Fake, it's stupid, whatever. Let's just you know, <laughs> grab ice cream. Just leave my chicken tenders on my desk and get out. <laughs>
And she was like, well, didn't she fall into the pit and get powers in that, like, whatever? I was like, no, it was just acid. Matt, did she? It just, I don't, I guess so. Your mom, I, I wish I had the, uh, like, just blind optimism that your mom has. I think it's great. I, I think, well, one of my theories on Suicide Squad was that movie was tested out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, less Killer Croc, more this, more music, put these cues in. because More that's, characters. More, like, <laughs> and that's what it just felt like. We need more one-liners from Will Smith. And I think that's what, I think that's what Warner Brothers is doing. They're like, I you know what? I do think Deadpool fucking threw a giant wrench in their plans. I think Deadpool oh, yes. made them panic. And people at the time were like, no, it's Deadpool. not Deadpool. We don't know what dead, what? But they oh, definitely... Uh, and Dawn of Justice made them panic. Too yeah, it, it was a hand-in-hand -hand thing. It was people saying, like, man, I know Suicide Squad's going to be way better because it's not going to be serious yeah, like BBS. And Warner was like... <laughs> she had <laughs> great. Harry. And I think early speculation was all the jokes were in the trailer. When they said that, we we talked about that. It's mm -hmm. like, all the jokes in the trailer, and they kind of were. Yeah. Everything funny that was there. And, and the joke that, you know, when Harley like, hits the thing, like, we like shopping or whatever bullshit she <laughs> we says. We like shopping? Yeah, I don't <laughs> know. The... <laughs> Women be shopping. Yeah. But whatever shit she, she <laughs> says. Women be shopping. <laughs> I'm not kidding. In the, in, I was in a pretty full theater. One person laughed. Like, huh. And like, that's it. Like, that's what the jokes were. Because everything funny. Also, that scene no made no sense. Theater. That, that scene made no sense. Her stealing that purse? Yeah, it didn't make any sense. They're the bad guys. What do you want? OK, guys, I hate to do this to you, but it's last call. Final round, will the Justice League get the DCEU back on track or further derail this runaway train? I'll start with you, Elliot. I have not changed my opinion over the last 10 minutes, if that's what you're asking. No, it's, it's uh... Really, this didn't <laughs> convince you? I, I just thought, maybe. I was Four like, people shooting really on the cool. movie. I think Justice League, I really hope, I... People think it's fun to hate on what DC has done to these movies. It's not fun, it's horrible. It's horrible. It sucks so bad. You and want really, to enjoy these movies. I want them to be good, and I hope they can take a look in the mirror and realize that they still have a chance to make this good and turn Justice League into a movie that's good. I don't know if they will, but I really hope so. Okay. How about you, Phil? I think they're going to try to make it Avengers of the DC Universe, and we've kind of seen that movie. And while the trailer was slick and funny, it was cut, it was shot and cut and, and to make to be a trailer. And I don't think they can extend that out. And if they do, they're just going to be copying what Marvel did, and that's not in the spirit of where they. It's kind they, of an unearned. The trajectory Avengers. has oh, it's been like dark and even Nolan Batman like dark and gritty and stuff, and like uh oh, wacky <laughs> yeah. city like butt up killer clowns and look at. Brrr. Fucking dumb. Uh, uh, Ricky? I, I have less hope for Justice League, and I wanted to be really excited about it, but but with the last two movies, I just don't see how they're going to make it work in a movie time frame. I'm honestly more interested in seeing Wonder Woman because it is a standalone movie yeah. with Patty Jenkins at the helm, and that'll be the real test to see. They've done the ensemble stuff two times now. Justice League, if it works, that would be great. But let's see what they do when they actually have room to breathe after the what happened in uh, Dawn of Justice, okay. after that shakeup. So, I don't like. I, I do think Wonder Woman's really important to this, but I think moving forward, if Justice League bombs, my theory is they'll reboot the DCEU with wow. a Ben Affleck Batman. That's what I. They think. won't do Aquaman with. Uh, James no, I don't, I don't. I think they'll cancel Aquaman. I think they'll go to the one thing that sells. They know, at the end of the day, like, if, because if, Justice League, if it's gonna tank, it's gonna tank hard. It's yeah. not gonna be, like, BBS was lukewarm. I feel like Justice League is gonna be the straw that breaks even the most fervent fans back. Yeah. Like, they're gonna be like, I'm, I can't do it anymore. Like, I feel I'm like Momo, every day he, he gets a call, he's like, Shooting got pushed what? another day. They just push every day. They what? just keep pushing. I'll, 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 I'll take the crow. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to do something in the meantime. What town with a bunch of white people are starving when f the fishing famine happens that he still helps and brings them on the king's tide all that fish? Where does that... It's like, a movie, they're son. They're fake people, oh, man. Oh, Go, I'm going to call your mom after this, and she's going to explain this to you in great detail. Like, I need to get... Real. If I can... Mr. Sujihara, here's what you do. You cancel everything. You cancel everything, you take Ben Affleck with Batman, you make that movie, but you also bring in Scott Snyder, who did New 52, and you do a Court of Owls storyline in a movie. That's something new that people haven't seen realized in live action, and it's a great storyline. So if that's what you should, I think that's what they should do. It's a new villain, it's an exciting villain, and you have the man who created it still in his prime that can probably do a screenplay better than anything they've put out so far. All right. Take that, Sujihara. Meet I'll, you, I'll, I'll second you in your that. office. I'll second that. Maybe not Endgame, maybe not Death of the Family, but yes, Court of Owls. 
All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Let's recap what we've learned. Ricky Hayberg had his dreams crushed by Suicide Squad, but it's okay because it had enough positive to still get him off. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of like a dolphin's blowhole. He finished. I was doing, this is it. This is sign language that's for dolphin's blowhole. blowhole. Like, hey. You're gonna not. They're as smart as humans. They can give consent. They can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Elliot Dewberry says Zack Snyder is the Rob Liefeld of movie directors. Oh, God. Does that mean we're gonna get an entire Justice League movie's worth of tiny feet and ammo pouches? Yes. Just pouches on pouches and weird chests. Phil Larigo thinks there's a direct correlation between how long a character's intro is and how much we can care about them as people. But if that's true, why was Phil Larigo's intro today so much longer than Ricky and Elliot's? Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? What's up with the Hey. My nope. cocktail. Okay, fine. Take it back. Oh, oh, here we go. As for me, Nick Gregorio, I hate that DC is trying to make Bruce Wayne the new Tony Stark. But that's only because I want them to cast me as the new Tony Stark. Or hell, even as the next Bruce Wayne. Look at this. Whole suit and tie outfit that I'm dressed in. Why do you think I do this every week? Please got someone at a movie studio return my phone calls and cast me in a superhero you movie dress before like I a kill boy. myself. We need another typical white guy getting this Nick is, Gregorio on the phone. This is what I get for mispronouncing our producer Cooper's last name. It's Schwagadork. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think anyone's ready for an Italian Batman. Yeah. The space bar's closed. <laughs> Batman's not even out fighting crabs. <laughs> He's, He's slaying the bitches. <laughs>